Hi physics lovers, in this particular problem we're asked to find the impulse and change of momentum from a force time graph. This is a graph which shows you the force acting on an object over a given period of time. Now the key point here is the area under the graph. So if we work out the area of this graph then really we have the impulse and we have the change of momentum. Because the key thing you have to understand here is that the area under the graph area is equal to the impulse itself and the other key thing because impulse is equal to the change of momentum we have the two in one fell swoop change of I'll just put down momentum for that so first things first work out the area of the triangle area equals a half times the base times the height of the triangle. In this particular case it's going to equal to a half times eight times seven, which is going to give you an answer of twenty eight units. Now what are the units for impulse? What are the units for change of momentum? The units for impulse quite easy to do twenty eight newton seconds. What's the units for change of momentum? change of momentum is exactly the same. It's equal to 28, but this time the units of momentum is kilograms meter per second, if I can write it that way. So that's what we do, dead 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 simple, to find the impulse or change momentum from a force time graph, we work out the area, and that area is equal to the impulse, which is equal to the change momentum, and remember those units. Now a good second part of this question is this one here, it says sketch what the force time graph would look like if the object crashed into a softer wall. Well as it crashes into a softer wall it's going to take a, lo a longer time to come to a halt. But the main thing to remember here is that the change of momentum is always going to be the same. So we have to sketch this graph in such a way that if we increase the time it takes to come to halt, the height of the graph must come down to give you that particular situation here where we have a lower peak force. Because if we really work out that new area, it should still equal the area of the old triangle. I hope this question helps you and if you follow through the instructions, your physics will be quite happy.